A really good example of using interference is actually noise cancelling headphones. You might have heard of these or seen people on an airplane using these. Um, but this is actually a really good example of superposition and interference. So here's basically the idea. I mean, the idea is that you want to cancel out outside noises. So let's say you're in an airplane and you want to sort of take away that sound that you hear, you know, of the airplane engine, for example, or if you're driving. It works especially well if it's a constant sound. It's difficult for these things to actually take away really quickly varying sounds like people's voices. It works somewhat, but it works best for like a constant sound. So something where there's like a constant loud noise or a constant annoying noise for you, these are going to work really well to uh, take that out. Now we're going to talk about this, uh, what I mean by noise cancelling headphones, I mean active noise cancelling headphones. There are some that are passive, some that just basically try to muffle out sound from the outside, but this does something way cooler, I think. So here's how it works, and you're going to see my really bad artistic skill here. So let's just say we have a person. So here is a person here, a nice big smile, and there's a person. So there you are, and there's your ear, and there's your side of your face. So that's all I really need here, maybe some hair. So what's going on is this. You have these uh, headphones sitting on your ears, right? So you have one here and one big one here. Let's say they're big, ugly ones like this right here. So now these are your headphones that you're wearing. And I'm just going to show you sort of a schematic of what really happens here. So inside, of course, in here you have a speaker. And that speaker is going to basically emit sound for your ears. Well, that's great. A good pair of noise cancelling headphones should also, you know, isolate fairly well. Um, but what it also has, this is the really cool part, it also has a microphone on the outside. So noise cancelling headphones have a microphone on the outside. And this is the idea. The idea is that you have this annoying sound that's coming in. So maybe this is the this is the sort of sound that you want to try to eliminate, this sort of wave of the sound. I'll just show you just a simplistic version. So this right here is always happening, this sound. Maybe it always goes up and down or whatever it is. So this sound right here, this little blip of sound, you want to basically eliminate it in your ear. You want to not hear this outside sound. So what your noise cancelling headphones do well step one the microphone itself so it's got a, a microphone on the outside like i said and that microphone it picks up so i'll say it picks up and sort of records the um, outside signal okay so it's actually picking up the outside noise and what it does it figures out so it obviously goes through a little circuit here that figures this out. So it actually figures out um, the frequency and the amplitude of the outside noise. Okay, so it actually goes ahead and calculates that. So that's what your microphone does. So it listens to the sound that's coming in, and it basically uh, sends it through a circuit and calculates basically the frequency and amplitude of that sound versus time, of course. Like well, how it changes versus time, because this signal, of course, goes up and down, does all sorts of crazy things. Well, then what it does, this little circuit is really cool because it calculates the opposite sound. So let's say it calculated that the sound went, for example, like this. Well, then it calculates the opposite sound. So in this case, the opposite sound would be, you know, something like this. It's a very simplistic version because it actually changes immensely. But this is just what happens. So if it picked up a blip like this, it will calculate the opposite sound. So in this case, something like that. So same length, same whatever. And it, um, let's say, it sends that. To your ear, uh, how should we say this? Uh, via the speaker. So this is really what it does. Okay, so it picks up the sound and it sort of calculates. Okay, that's the sound. Then it calculates. Okay, what's the opposite to that? Oh, that would be this. So it takes that and emits that in your speaker. In other words, in your ear. So your ear basically hears this lower one that's emitted from your headphones. And you're going to also hear a little bit of the sound itself. That's the whole idea of the noise cancelling headphone. The reason is because here's what's really happening then. The outside, let's say, that or there would be your outside sound. 
but this is sort of what really happens here. So the outside sound plus, let's say the noise canceling sound. So that right there is what they've sort of, they've sent out to your ear. So your own ear will hear the outside sound still. I mean, it's still not perfect. You're still gonna hear that sound. But when you your ear also hears the noise canceling sound, what that will do then is that will do total destructive interference. That's the idea. So in this case right here, you're going to have basically, you know, this dotted line here that wants to be there. Like we were looking at before with superposition of waves. It wants to see this sort of dotted line like that. And of course there would be this dotted line down here. Right, these two waves on top of each other. So basically you hear, when you add them up, you hear nothing. So that equals silence. Now that's the idea behind it. If it works perfectly, that's how it would be. You would basically take a simple sound, this thing would completely give you the opposite sound, and that means then it would be complete silence. At least that's if it's a nice constant sound. In practice, it doesn't work out perfectly, uh, but like I said, it works out pretty, pretty well. It's pretty awesome. I mean, here's a fancier version of what they're saying happens here. So you've got your electronics, you've got your microphone, and basically you've got your speaker inside, and that's really what happens. So see the sound waves created by the headphone speaker, maybe go up, down, up, and the noise created by the external source, maybe it's something different. But the idea is that when you add up these two, you know, you actually get silence. So see right here, this plus this gives you nothing, and this plus this gives you nothing. So that's the idea behind it. I think it is so cool. It's a really good example, I think, of superposition and the idea of wanting to have destructive interference. Like I said, it doesn't work out perfectly, but it's it's pretty darn good. If you've ever heard active noise canceling headphones like this, it makes a huge difference, especially if you work in like a busy office or, uh, yeah, like I said, if you're on a plane or on a bus or in a car or something like that. I think it works really, really well. This is, this is magic, I think. It really seems like magic.